the wildest rental car situation. Welcome to the official Costa Rica vlog. We finally made it after such a long day. We had some um, travel hiccups, I would say. Our flight was delayed one hour, which honestly wasn't the end of the world. We were like, okay, we're not really planning on doing much today anyways. But I guess they were down to like one runway at Newark, which causes traffic when all the planes are trying to leave off of one runway. So it wasn't like the end of the world, but it did suck to be stuck on a plane for six hours. And then we get here and we had the wildest rental car situation I think that I've ever experienced. Would you agree? Yeah. Hindsight 2020, we booked with a rental car service that neither of us had heard of before. It's called USAVE, like U-S-A-V-E. And neither of us have heard, had heard or have heard of this rental car place before. Obviously there's other places like Thrifty, Budget, what are we doing, Budget? And places like that, but there was one specific car that we wanted to drive called the Jimny and I think that it's a what is it a Suzuki. It was really cool. It looks like a little knockoff G Wagon is how, what I compared it to or like a, a Jeep type situation. And we were really really excited for it. So we went with this company that we hadn't heard of just because the car was really cool. So hindsight 2020 we probably should have done more research. But we get here and it was kind of like low-key a very creepy situation I would say. Also ignore the friend that's developed on my face. So we get outside of the Costa Rican airport after waiting in like the customs, was it customs line, the border line? Uh, basically they have to like check your passport and make sure you have a return ticket and stuff like that, that line to get in. So once we get through that we exchange our money, for US dollars to the Costa Rican currency and we get our bag, we go outside to try to get our rental car and immediately these dudes that don't have any like labels on them that said you say grab us and first thing that clicks in my head is like okay this is a little bit weird like these dudes just could be anyone every other rental car service had like a label like you could very clearly tell that it was budget or you could very clearly tell that it was thrifty or you could very clearly tell that it was avis avis i'm not sure how you pronounce that but these dudes that with no labels just like grabbed us and they were like oh come with us come with us and i was like okay cool weird but okay so they grab us and then they get on the phone with this woman. They immediately call this woman and they're talking to her for a little bit in Spanish and I, my Spanish is not that great. Like I can speak enough to get by but it's definitely not like how they were speaking it. And she hands the phone to me and she's speaking like very clear English. And she goes, sorry but like you missed your reservation time. So we are unable to give you a car and we don't have another one available for you. We just gave it away. And I was like, "Our." our flight was delayed what do you mean and she was like well you didn't tell us our flight was delayed I was like we were literally in the air how do you expect me to tell you that my flight's delayed if we're in the air and she's like well there's nothing that I can do for you you didn't give us your flight number so we couldn't track you and all this stuff and I was like looking back on it when we booked the reservation for the rental car they didn't even ask us for our flight number or the time it was supposed to get in or any of that so that should have also been a red flag because typically places ask for your flight number and your reservation number and all of that stuff and they didn't ask for that so that was another red flag that we definitely missed and after I hung up the phone I was like hey, whatever we're gonna figure it out ourselves right after we hung up the phone the two dudes that were like grabbed us and were helping us they were like oh we got you we got you there's other services like we got you and at that point we were both like no absolutely not. nope not happening 100% a scam like red flags went up all over the place it was it just got even sketchier so we went back in and we ended up having to last minute rent a car, which was three times the amount that we were originally paying for a rental car, but we we're finally in a car and we're in Costa Rica and I'm just happy to be on the road headed to our current hotel because while that wasn't the craziest travel day I've ever had, it was definitely a little bit stressful towards the end there and it was just like overall creepy. It's like a two and a half hour drive, so we're in for another long little road trip. It's just been such a long travel day, but I'm very thankful to be here and to be in one piece. 
just hoping the rest of our trip goes smoothly. Very odd day so far, but we're here and so far I like what I see. And so far, <laughs> after the rental car experience, we're chilling. literally stunning not the fog <laughs> this is gonna be interesting good morning everyone the next day today was a really crazy travel day also this thing keeps fogging up so i'm just gonna have to keep wiping it off after the craziness that we had at the airport and with the rental car we had a four hour drive no that's such a lie it was like two and a half hours but through the crazy mountains to get to here i'm gonna do this inside two and a half hour drive to get to here but it was like through the windy roads i think i got a little bit of footage of that and then once we got here we got dinner and knocked we were exhausted and now it's 6 50 a.m we have a breakfast reservation at 7 a.m because it was either a 7 a.m reservation 8 a.m reservation or 9 a.m reservation and we have a tour of a coffee plantation with chocolate at 8 50 so we had to take the 7 a.m reservation so we are headed there now. Honestly, my camera volume is every few seconds. It's not me. This is our home for the next three days. A little quaint area. I don't want to know what's living under there. <laughs> So nice. Probably the best view, I would say. Currently playing a fun game of don't fall off the towel rack with this camera. <laughs> Getting ready, we just ate breakfast and explored the hotel a little bit because it was really dark when we got back here last night. So we wanted to walk around and just get a feel for the place. It's super cute. I got a weird vibe from it last night when we were here, but I think that after walking around this morning and seeing it in the daylight, it definitely helped the situation a lot. Like I said today, we're getting ready to head to a coffee and chocolate tour. I'm really excited for it. That's like the best combination of food and drink ever. I realized last night and today when I was talking about like Costa Rica and stuff like that that i didn't talk about where we're staying or like what we're even doing so the first half of the trip we're staying in a town slash location called la fortuna which is known for their hot springs so we're staying at a hot springs resort i'm gonna put the name of it down on the screen i keep butchering the pronunciation of it we keep calling it the miranda which makes us sound so obviously american but it's it's not the miranda it doesn't even have an end in the name it's like Miradas arenal or something like that really cute place there are like 20 other hot springs resorts surrounding us as well so it's kind of like a touristy area which we didn't know going into it but i'm not mad about it because it makes like restaurants easy to find and shopping and like things to do that's where we are for the first half of the trip and then the second half of the trip we're heading to the west coast and staying at an ocean cottage i don't know the name of that one either i just keep butchering the name of everything here my spanish is not as great as it was in high school i will have to say but it's slowly but surely coming back to me costa rica is obviously such a large country that I can't just say like I'm going to Costa Rica and you guys would know like where I am or what I'm doing. So we're staying in the mountains one for the first half of the trip and then we're staying on the ocean the second half of the trip. We wanted like a mountain slash beach vacation. I feel like those two things combined will really give us the full Costa Rican experience. So I'm excited for that. I'm just gonna finish up doing my hair and makeup now so that we can head out because your girl needs some coffee. I didn't have any coffee at breakfast this morning knowing that we would have coffee at this 
coffee tuber and probably some after so i am lacking on the caffeine right now quick outfit of the day shorts are princess polly top is princess polly this bag is from italy shoes air force ones amazon sunglasses and then i'm just wearing my gold jewelry that i wear every single day it seems like it's going to be pretty hot out here today so i wanted to wear something that wasn't going to make me sweat but was also cute and this is what i came up with <laughs> from the coffee and chocolate tour i didn't record too much i recorded like a few clips but the tour was like way more hands-on than i thought it was going to be it was just the two of us and the tour guide and i thought it was going to be like this big group which i honestly didn't mind i really 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 liked the tour i thought it was like a 10 out of 10 experience i mean i have it linked down below because if you're coming to costa rica and you're staying in the la fortuna area you should 125 percent check out the tour it was amazing we're not doing the nighttime tour which they also offer where you can go and see all of their animals at night it's like a bunch of frogs and stuff not up my alley so we just did the coffee and chocolate tour combination and it was literally such a cool experience he walks you through their entire i don't know what you would call it they have like a whole area full of different types of plants fruits chocolate beans coffee beans and all that you get to make your own coffee you get to make your own chocolate he tells you the difference between the types of beans, tells you there's like how white chocolate is made versus um, dark chocolate and regular milk chocolate and stuff like that. It was overall such such a good experience and we really liked our tour guide. And it was pretty affordable, it was like $40 like USD for each person, so it was $80 total which wasn't bad at all. And it was two hours long so we definitely got our money's worth out of it. I don't know if it would be the same way during busy season. I kind of feel like we're in this area when it's a little bit like more deserted. There's not a lot of people around here, which I don't really mind, but I feel like during their busy season, maybe you wouldn't get a one-on-one -on -one personal tour. I think that maybe we just were the only people that booked that slot or the only... A butterfly just tried to attack me. You missed the butterfly trying to attack me. I was literally gonna jump over the fence. It lives to tell the tale. <laughs> it's, it's black and red. I love fear butterflies. It's not something I like to advertise, but here it is now on the internet. <laughs> Birds are really going at it, huh? <gasps> I don't like butterflies though, specifically. I'm, I'm back butterflies gone. Another thing that I wanted to mention about the tour is that we saw a sloth. We saw two sloths for free. Other than that we were gonna have to pay like $200 to see sloths but I guess that's I guess it's like the nation's or not the nation's the this country's animal because we see it everywhere. It's like literally on everything. It's even on one of their paper bills. It's wild. But we saw two sloths. They're so like interesting looking in person. And I guess they whistle, like that's how they talk, is they whistle. So you can whistle at them and they'll like look at you. Oh you can't wait, do you think that the black things on the mountain? Hello. Do you think that the black things on the volcano are like where it it formerly erupted? Yeah, you know what I'm talking like about? The lava river beds. We'll be going in them tomorrow. Not in, all the way. In them? There. Yeah, like what well, hiking like through them kind of thing. Because there's more close to the bottom, obviously, but it's where like the lava ran down the mountain. Imagine taking a helicopter ride around the volcano. You can't even see the helicopter. The hotel that we're staying at is at the bottom of the volcano. Luckily, the volcano is dormant, supposedly. So, and last time, I guess it was dormant. It didn't have an eruption for like hundreds of years, so... 
we're just kind of hoping it stays like that, but it's gorgeous. Our hotel is literally at the bottom of this volcano. These butterflies are about to catch these hands. Tomorrow we're going on an all day excursion to hike kind of like around the volcano, the bottom of the volcano. We're going to be doing like waterfalls, hot springs, and looking at the volcano beds at the bottom. I don't know if we're actually hiking it. And our tour guide earlier today said that it was illegal to actually hike to the top of the volcano. He was like, you can do it, but it's illegal. We were like, okay. Also, I think that it would take, I don't know, like several, obviously like all day. Do you think several days? I think probably do it in a day. Depends on like where you start from. Everything. But do you think you could do it in a day and then get back down in a day? It'd be like an 18 hour hike. I don't wanna, but props to people if they do. But apparently it's dormant but we were saying that if this thing just decided to all of a sudden not be dormant anymore which i don't know if that's a thing and erupt we would literally be screwed because there's no way out of here like we had it took us two and a half hours to get here today and the roads were so windy and we had to go so slow at some parts and the bridges you can only allow it's only you're only allowed to have like one car on the bridge at a time or like one row of cars going one way one way on a bridge at a time it's not a two-way bridge <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. It's not a two-way bridge, so it's like a one-way bridge, so you have to like wait for cars to come this way so that you can then go. And so if this thing decided to erupt, or if we had like any sort of emergency where we had to get off of this mountain, we would be literally screwed because there's just no easy way to get down. But it is a gorgeous area, and I'm excited to be here. And I think that later, right now we're chilling, but I think that in a little bit we're going to go get lunch, and then we're going to go to this lake. River. river river that you almost just flipped my vlog camera off i think we're going to a river to swim apparently the water's really blue and they look like they have like little mini waterfalls but apparently it's like a place where a lot of people swim and stuff like that and we were gonna do the hot springs today but it's honestly too hot outside to do the hot springs right now so we'll probably do that a little bit later tonight but that's the plan just wanted to give you guys an update because it's hard to talk and do these excursions and do everything at the same time so updates to come throughout the day i don't even know if you guys can see this on camera but look at this line of ants that runs from here all the way to you see them walking and it runs all the way to somewhere under our actual hotel but that's wild i've never seen anything like that they're literally just on a path there has to be thousands and thousands and thousands of ants and they're all just carrying a crap ton of like leaves and stuff and just they're working hard these cows are the biggest things i've ever seen these things are freaking massive you cannot tell on camera though that's like three cows in one it's a big cow three u.s cows and one costa rican cow coffee. Needed this. Needed like a third wave of energy at this point. Good morning everyone. It's our official I think technically it's a day three here, but it's our second full day and we're doing an all day excursion. Yesterday we ended up going to a like all natural hot springs, river, waterfall type situation. I know I took clips of it. It was really cool. And then it started downpouring and it was like lightning and thundering and it that pretty much lasted literally the entire night. So we came back here, we sat on the porch for a bit and then we both fully knocked and like took two hour naps because we were exhausted just from like the previous travel day and then doing so much yesterday and so now we are nice and refreshed and no longer exhausted for today because we have like a 10 hour excursion we're doing waterfalls we're going to the volcano what are they called volcano beds lava beds something to do with the volcano we're like hiking up to them and then i think we're also doing some of the hot springs i'm really really hoping that the weather cooperates because 
it's already starting to mist outside and I'm just not trying to be outside for 10 hours with it pouring down rain. That would really suck. You can see that it looks just like overall pretty damp outside and like gross compared to how it was yesterday morning. That's the <clears throat> current update. I'm really excited for today because I feel like it's gonna give us a good gist of La Fortuna. I'm kind of sad that we don't have another day here. Today is our last full day and then we wake up early tomorrow morning to travel to our next location which is one of the beaches on the west coast. I, we always forget the name of it because it's kind of hard for us to pronounce. But obviously once we get there I'll tell you guys like where we're going and whatnot. But today is our last full day here and I'm kind of sad. I kind of wish we had another day just to be able to do everything that La Fortuna has to offer. So I guess if you're coming to stay here, I would recommend staying three full days, not counting your travel day, just so that you feel like you've maxed out everything that you could possibly do here. But nonetheless, if we're missing anything, that just means that we need to come back a second time. So that's how I'm looking at it rather than being sad that we can't do everything, excited for the opportunity to come next time positive mindset. I think that the mornings here have been my favorite though because it's just so peaceful. Honestly this hotel is peaceful like 24 7 but especially in the mornings just with the cows making noise and the birds and no one's really awake yet. I'm obsessed with this location. All right quick chill outfit of the day before my camera gets wet and before it fogs up. These shorts are Lululemon top is Athleta wearing my Nike shoes and then I'm not wearing any jewelry or anything just because it is raining and we are going to be outside and hiking and so I didn't feel the need to wear any of my jewelry. The only jewelry I'm wearing is the necklace that I always wear from Annalisa. But other than that, it's going to be a chill day. We just did the volcano hike. Lots of, <laughs> you stop? Lots of lava. What is it called? Lava rocks? Lava, lava fields. fields? Lava fields. Lots of lava fields. And it was, rocks. Rocks. It was pretty cool. I think that the views have been stunning. We got to see the lake. I really wanted to see the lake while we were here and we didn't know if we'd have time. So we're seeing it from afar. You get that sick out of my camera. <laughs> I think next we're going to a waterfall where we can like swim in the water and kind of cool off. How many rocks did you see today? Probably one mil. We didn't see a million rocks. Yes, we did. Not like big boulders. I think a mil. What's the difference between a rock and a boulder? A boulder is bigger than a rock. But like how big? One ton. Is that right? Yeah, I was just curious. No, someone can fact check that. But we're headed to a waterfall next, and then after that, we're headed to the cloud bridges, I think. So, exciting day. I'm already a little bit tired, but we're hanging in there.
Los aulladores. Son ¿Sí, sí, es? Oh, I see. Los que probablemente ya los han escuchado. Yeah. I don't know if you heard them guys yeah. already. Yeah. yesterday because we were exhausted but the tour was so much fun I think my favorite part of it was the monkeys I think I showed clips of pretty much everything the first thing we did was the volcano hiking and then we did swimming in waterfalls slash swimming in like little swimming areas below the waterfall I don't know what those are called and then we did these things called sky bridges where basically you're walking on a really thin bridge hundreds of feet up in the air above like the rainforest and when we were doing that we saw so many different types of wildlife we saw two types of monkeys uh, a poisonous frog a poisonous snake uh what else did we see uh, is that it i think so the monkeys are my favorite part though they're just such interesting little creatures we saw a howler monkey and what's the other one spider monkey spider monkey and they were so cute. We saw like bad little baby monkeys too. They were so cute. And we got videos of both of them that'll be in this vlog. So you guys will have already seen it, but it was really cool. But just like such a good day, but it was definitely exhausting after 10 hours of going on different types of hikes and seeing different types of things. And so we, after that, we literally just knocked. We didn't even go out to dinner last night because we ended up falling asleep so early and now we are up bright and early at like 6.45 a.m. again. We've been up at 6.45 a.m. I think for the past three days since we've gotten here just because we had breakfast reservations at 7 a.m. each morning and we've been doing different activities. But today we're actually leaving the La Fortuna area and we're going down to the second location that we're staying at which is the beach. I realized that I never said where we were going for the beach because I Honestly, we had a hard time remembering the name of the beach we're staying at, but it's right below Jaco Beach, but I guess that's a popular beach in Costa Rica. We're staying like 45 minutes south of Jaco Beach, so a little outside of the touristy area. But that's where we're headed now. It's like a four hour drive. So we're doing a little road trip and we're getting COVID tested along the way because you have to have a COVID test at least 72 hours prior to leaving Costa Rica to go back into the US. So we're just getting that done now to have peace of mind so we can enjoy our last few days here. Definitely my favorite part of yesterday was seeing all the monkeys. Monkeys are silly. And I think my favorite part of La Fortuna in general was just everything was so gorgeous and everyone in La Fortuna was so nice. I don't know if it's maybe because they're very used to having tourists nearby because it is a touristy area in Costa Rica, but everyone that we came across was just so sweet and so willing to help. Everyone was willing to help translate. Everyone was willing to help with things that maybe we didn't understand. Like when we went to a grocery store one night, we had a guy just like out of the kindness of his heart help us check out and help us translate everything for us and the cashier because obviously we're American, they did things a little bit differently there and the currency's a little bit different and obviously there's a little bit of a language barrier but he just went out of his way to help us which was nice and that's pretty much been the same way for everyone that we've encountered. They're more than willing to help and they're more than willing to go out of their way for 
just like people in general, which I feel like you don't really see a lot of the time in the US, well, specifically in New York. New York is just like such a different area. You don't really see people like go out of their way for others. So it was kind of refreshing to end up in a place for a little bit that people were just genuinely nice and wanted to talk to you and wanted to interact with you and wanted to help out. So that was probably like another one of my favorite things, if not one of my favorite things of the area we were staying in is that everyone was just so nice. The views were gorgeous and just being in nature was just relaxing. It was much needed, I would say. And I'm excited to head to the beach. I'm kind of hoping we have like the same sort of experience, hoping everyone is nice down there too. I'm sure they will be. And I'm hoping this weather behaves because we're in the mountains heading towards the beach now and it's raining a little bit and I don't really want my beach experience to be full of rain but can't really control the weather. What's your favorite part of staying at La Fortuna? Um, just like the scenery. It's just like a very beautiful, always something to look at. I wish we did like more of the hot springs things. That was like one thing that we didn't really do too much of. We did the hot spring free river that one day and then we stayed at a hot spring resort where the pool was a hot springs. I didn't really record too much of that because we only ended up in the pool or the hot spring pool one night while we were there. But typically people go there and they'll do like day passes to different resorts I think to stay and like experience the different types of hot springs. So that's one thing that we didn't do that I definitely wish that we had done. But we still got to experience it nonetheless and I guess that just means that we need to Come back a second time and i'd be definitely down to come back a second time and do all the things that we weren't able to do this time i think that i'm going to go ahead and end off this portion of the vlog because i'm going to do a costa rica part two vlog i wasn't sure if i was going to make it into part one or part two but i have so much footage from la fortuna that i feel like i need to just make like a second part for the beach i'm going to go ahead and end off this video here if you guys are new around here subscribe down below so you guys don't miss the second part of the costa rica vlog and i will see you guys next time bye